How do you want to build your dreams? And what path is best to take to accomplish those dreams? My name is Jeremy Noble, and I'm a craftsman, an entrepreneur, a family man, and the owner of Diamond Grade Builders, where I use a decade of experience to help homeowners and investors build the dreams they have for their homes and investment properties. I got started in construction because of one really positive experience that I had when I was a teenager. During Christmas break one year, my family had the opportunity to spend our time with a charity to build homes for families in Mexico that didn't have the means to acquire one. That was a, a powerful experience for me to see a team come together to deliver on a basic need that every human has. That's a home. So by the, by the time I was in my early 20s, I had multiple years of experience in building homes and managing a construction company as well as several years with the careful oversight of an incredible mentor who taught me what it meant to be a true craftsman. A true craftsman to me is someone that wants to deliver not only quality work but a quality experience. People think that contractors are unreliable. Contractors have a bad rap for screwing people out of money, for not showing up on time, for doing really crappy work and homeowners got to go out and find another contractor to come and fix it and do it right the next time. So an experience came along that I wasn't expecting. I took on a client that I thought I knew really well. We spent hours together um, going over plans for the project, building a budget for the project, and eventually we agreed to the scope of work that was to be accomplished and the budget for the project. And the work commenced. As the project went on, um, little things were added here and there, and eventually about $10,000 in extras piled up. Towards the close of the project, the quality was there. They were happy with the results of the project. Then they came to me and said that they couldn't afford to pay me. And I decided to give them the benefit of the doubt. About a month went by and I found out that they sold the home. They made nearly half a million dollars in profits. And to this day, I've never seen a dime. So that was my first experience in a rather close relationship with someone where I experienced blatant dishonesty and I'd be lying if I didn't say that that experience really shook me to my core. It took time to recover from that. So I knew a few really important things um, that as I continued to own integrity and continued to deliver on quality for my clients that I would be blessed with the right opportunities and relationships that I needed to continue and succeed in my business and life. And an opportunity came to open up a second business with a person that has seen a lot of success. And as we got to know each other more throughout this second business um, and spent more time together, an invitation came to remodel his home. And we were quickly able to agree on what he wanted done and uh, the price of the project. And I was able to transform and enhance his home so in real estate as well as many aspects of life, nobody succeeds alone. I believe that's because there are many incredible mentors in this world that have had experiences that we haven't had. As we connect with them and build relationships with them, we can not only learn from our own life lessons, but we can learn from theirs as well. And it helps us to grow in our lives and grow in our businesses faster than we could alone. But when it comes to building dreams, remember that the quality of the environments that we surround ourselves with influence the experiences that we have in this life and the way that we experience life determines the quality of it. That message came to me as I reflected on the last few years and having the opportunity to create a second business with that successful person and to look back and see the, the influence and the impact that they had on me and the other relationships that they were able to introduce me to. The influence I want to have as a craftsman is to help train and deliver more craftsmen into the world and to continue what started years ago as a teenager of having that opportunity to go to a third world country and build homes for people that didn't have the means to acquire one. We're in the process of building partnerships with other charities around the world too go to other countries and build homes for people that don't have one. I strongly believe that every, every step of the way in my journey, 
that as I've strived to be my authentic, my authentic self, that God has blessed me with the relationships that I've needed to succeed. So ultimately, everything that I have, everything that I am, and all of the quality people I have in my life are, you know, come, it comes down to my relationship with God. Again, my name is Jeremy Noble, and when it comes to building dreams, remember, the quality of the environments that you surround yourself with influence the way that you experience life, and the way that you experience life determines the quality of it.